Hello everybody, welcome back to Judge Computer Service on YouTube. I'm going to be showing you guys today on how to set up remote access for your Proxmox server using a VPN mesh called Tailscale. So let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to be doing all this process on a virtual machine, the setup, but basically you can do it on a physical. This is just an example. So I have here open my Proxmox server. And I have it set it up the IP address 192.168.0.6 and the default port number 8006. So for anybody just thinking right now, why use a VPN mesh for this? Why not just open the port on your router so you can connect remotely? Well, for some users, that's not possible. Why? Due to their ISP, some users might actually have something that's called CGNet, carrier grade net. If you have this on your service, you're not going to be able to open the port. Even if you try to open it directly from the router or your modem, it's not going to open due to just having this by your ISP. So using Tailscale in this case, it's a way to bypass. So you won't be opening any ports whatsoever. So the good thing about Tailscale is for personal use, there is no cost. It's 100% free and you can set up over a hundred devices yes, for yourself. Or if you want to use it for business, that's also optional. So you have the other prices here. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. Now back to the Proxmox. Now we just need to download and install Tailscale on the Proxmox server directly. Since Proxmox is a Linux, so we're going to go to the download site, Tailscale here, and it's a very easy process. It's just install with one command. So just copy this, go to your Proxmox, open the shell, paste that link that we just copy, enter, and it's just wait for this to finish. Once this is finished, it's going to ask us to log in. So here we go, installation complete, login to start using Tailscale by running this command. So let's go ahead and do that. Tailscale up. Give it a few seconds. Now he's going to copy this link. Now you go back to open another tab, paste that here, click enter. Now use the email that you want to connect your device to the, to the tail net. I'm going to use this one. Just give that a few seconds to load up. Choose the account. And it says you're about to connect. PBE test. That's basically the host name that I have it right here. And you're going to hit connect. Now it's successfully connected. Now that we already done that part, you're basically set. You don't really have to do anything else. Now your question is now how do I test that out? So you can see here right now, Here's the host name of the Proxmo server, and, he, and here's a, the IP address I got. So you're just going to copy this IP address. And now if you notice, I have this computer connected to the telnet here, which is basically this computer Plex Media server. And check out the host name here, Plex Media server. And if we do IP config, you can see here the tail scale. IP address, same one that is basically right here, 172.34.61, that's it. So now to access this computer, all we need to do now is just go to the Proxmo server, it exactly says copy the IP, now here's the good, now it says put the port number, 8006. Oops, 8006. And that was weird. Don't know why I did that. 
Okay, let's do that again. Eight zero zero six, and there we go. Click advance, asset the risk, and continue. And there you have it. You're successfully connected to your Proxima server via remote access. Any computer that is connected to the telnet, this computer, this computer, and this computer has access to enter to the Proxima server. You see? 100.108.175.56 Now let's just go ahead and go there, the login, the password, and there we go. Let's say you log in. You can see here, put the Telescale IP and with the local IP address. Same thing. And guys, that's basically it. You really don't have to do anything else. If you actually want to connect, you can also connect to this uh, using SSH additionally to that. This is open, CMD, SSH, put the IP, route, yes, the password, and there you go. You're connected to SSH by using the telnet IP address. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. You don't really have to do anything else. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and like this one in the next one. Have a good one.